This video will cover beginner part 1 questions regarding the topic of limit of trigonometry function. This special trigonometric limit are very useful. We need to draw the graph of y equals sine x over x in your calculator. With this window in radian measure, you will see this curve. There is a removable discontinuity at x equals 0 but it looks continuous. If you change the window to this one, scale is not important. It looks the same because of the y-axis. But remember this removable discontinuity at x equals 0. So please go to the second format, then press axis off. You will see this graph. This means the graph of y equals sine x over x graph is like this. Removable discontinuity at x equals 0 here. So limit from the left hand side. Limit as x approaches 0 from the left side. Sine x over x equals 1 because this is 1. And limit as x approaches 0 from the right side, sine x over x equals also 1, like this. Therefore, limit as x approaches 0, sine x over x equals 1. You get the final answer. The graph y equal sine 2x over 2x is a horizontal compression by a factor of half of y equals sine x over x graph. So limit as x approaches 0, sine 2x over 2x equals 1. If these two values are equal, the answer is always 1. So we have a formula limit as x approaches 0, sine ax over ax equals 1. Please remember, as x approaches 0 and ax, ax, these two values are always equal. This is limit as x approaches 0, x over sine x. We can rewrite as limit as x approaches 0, 1 over sine x over x because a over b equals 1 over b over a is the same and it becomes limit x approaches 0, 1 over limit as x approaches 0 sine x over x equals the numerator is 1 and the denominator is also 1 so answer is 1 so we have another formula limit as x approaches 0 x over sine x equals 1. Please remember this formula. This is the next question. We need the conjugate number each side. So times 1 plus cosine x over 1 plus cosine x equals limit as x approaches 0 this is 1 minus cosine times 1 plus cosine is, do you remember? a minus b times a plus b. When it's expand, it's a squared minus b squared form. So the numerator is 1 minus cosine squared x over, keep the denominator, x times 1 plus cosine x. And 
Do you remember this identity? Sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1. So, sine squared x equals 1. This one move to the right. Then minus cosine squared x. And go back to original. Limit as x approaches 0. 1 minus cosine squared x, which is sine squared x. over x times 1 plus cosine x. And we can rewrite as limit as x approaches 0 sine x over x times sine x over 1 plus cosine x. The limit of the product is the product of the limit. So we can rewrite as limit as x approaches 0 sine x over x times limit as x approaches 0 sine x over 1 plus cosine x equals this one we just learned. So 1 times when you put 0 into x so sine 0 is 0 over 1 plus cosine 0, which is 1. So 1 times 0 over 2, which is 0. This is the next question. We know the formula limit x approaches 0 sine ax over ax equals 1 because these two values are the same. So we need 2x in the denominator. So times 2 over 2, then change these two numbers, 3 and 2. It becomes limit as x approaches 0 sine 2x over 2x times 2 over 3. Change it. Then these two values are the same. So 1 times 2 over 3. So answer is 2 over 3. And now we get another formula limit as x approaches 0 sine ax over bx equals a over b. Think about this one. Only take the numbers from the numerator and denominator, 2 over 3. The answer is 2 over 3. So please remember this formula. But what about the problem where the sine part is at the bottom? So like limit as x approaches 0, 3x over sine 2x. And as you know, the a over b becomes 1 over b over a. So we can rewrite as limit as x approaches 0, 1 over sine 2x over 3x. So this is 1 over this limit, so 2 third. This is 1 divided by 2 third. So 1 times 3 over 2, which is 3 over 2. So we get another formula. Limit as x approaches 0, cx over sine dx equals c over d. Just take the number, the numerator and the denominator, 3 over 2 like this. Shall we check by solving the next problem? Remember this formula you learned at the beginning. The same number makes 1. And just after learning question 1, we learned another formula, this one. 
just take the number in the numerator and denominator, so A over B like this. So upside down doesn't matter. This is number 4. If you use the last formula to quickly find the answer, this is just A over B. So that one is pi over one third is pi divided by one third is pi times upside down and three over one and make the fraction like this. So the answer is a three pi. Then let's solve it by writing the solution method in detail. So use this one. These two numbers must be the same. So we need times one third over one third. And then limit as x approaches zero, change e, the pi and one third like this. So one third x over sine one third x times pi over one third. And then this one followed this formula makes one times pi over one third. So actually pi over one third is the same as this one. So answer must be three pi. So we have a same answer. This is the last question. In this question, we need this formula. Limit as x approaches 0. Sine ax over ax equals 1. And limit as x approaches 0. ax over sine ax equals 1. So we need 3 over 3, 4 over 4, x over x, like this. And then the limit becomes x approaches 0. So sine 3x over 3x. And times this one, sine 4x, sine 4x, and then 4x. Then 3 over 4 is left over. Like this. Then use the limit law. So limit as x approaches 0, sine 3x over 3x times the second one, the limit as x approaches 0, 4x over sine 4x times the last one, limit as x approaches 0, 3 over 4. And use this formula. This one is 1 times, that one is another 1 times, this one is a 3 over 4. So answer is a 3 over 4. Then we have another formula. Limit as x approaches 0, sine ax over sine bx equals a over b. You can use this with a multiple question. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in a comment below and I will address them in a future video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.